Remember, the host knows where the car is, so how do you know he's not playing a trick on you, trying to use reverse psychology to get you to pick a goat? Well, I, I wouldn't really care. I mean, my answer's based on statistics, based on variable change. Variable change, but he just asked you a simple... So this comes from a game show called The Monty Hall Show, and this kind of thing uh, actually happened, and this Monty Hall problem is like a really famous example of this, something that seems paradoxically true. But it is true, it is better to switch your guess after you've been shown the original goat, and the description right here is pretty right. I mean, they don't go through all of the details. One thing that is a little bit picky here is that, I don't know that a mathematics student that uh, knows all of the history of Newton's method and knows about the Monty Hall problem would say a 33% likelihood. I think they would say a one third chance or a two thirds chance. They would keep it to exact numbers instead of like using this uh, decimal approximation. But that's me being really picky. Okay, so I thought this was a pretty cool scene. Uh, what else would you like me to react to?